All right, I'm gonna do a quick change on just basically the clutch assembly. And when I say clutch assembly, that, that includes, you know, your, your drive gear and cover for the clutch itself, clutch, um, new oiler, retainer, washer, retainer clip. And the kit comes with all of that and a new spark plug for some reason, <laughs> which is nice. Um, all I need for tools to do this is spark plug wrench if you're changing your spark plug, which I'm going to show you a different way of doing this. I've seen several videos where guys are uh, popping their spark plug out and stuff in cord, uh, either cord or um, a tool specially made for stuffing in there and stopping the complete stroke of your piston, which allows you to then crack this loose this loose I'm sorry you don't need to do that um, I'm gonna show you a different way to do that it's pretty simple and it's part of your maintenance that you should probably do anyways and while you're digging into this thing it'd be a good idea to do this too and that's to take off your you know exhaust spark arrestor here uh, which on mine is uh, 5 16 I believe yeah 5 16 two nuts that comes off clean your screen that's in there I'll show you all that and we're gonna do that all here real quick um, also I have a screwdriver for removing the seat the C clip pliers for putting it back on and I'll need another socket uh, for this size which I'll reveal the size in a minute and then grease still makes grease but I have this this old stuff here uh, Whamco I don't know if you're finding that anymore I think this is my grandpa's grandpa's and it's been in the family for quite a while it's high temperature Ranges up to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, silicone grease. I think I'll be all right. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I use that. Um, that's all I could find actually <laughs> where I am in the toolbox. Put it to use. So let's uh, just dive in here. I guess we'll just start doing what we got to do here. So first thing you're gonna do, obviously, is take off this cover. This is really quick. It does not need to be complicated. I think anybody who's running a chainsaw or doing any minor tune, this thing is filthy. If it were an auto, if this were an, uh, an automobile, I would compare it to the plus 300,000 miles range. Again, it's an MS-180. I've had this thing for a long time. It's done a lot of work for me. Um, I've always taken decent care of it. So take off your bar as you just saw me do, you know, loosen up your uh, chain adjustment there. Then I just take a screwdriver and it's kind of awkward because I'm trying to position everything for the camera as well as be efficient here. I just pry that off like that. You know, you want to kind of cover it up because it tends to go flying. Boom. Washer. Boom. This. Should come off easier. Oh, there we go. That's why I had the chain brake on. Um, lift that off and you'll notice there's a little groove in there. I don't know if you can see that on the... Right there. That's what you're lining up with your oiler, which is down there, which is this. Mine... I already did this, so I'm just going through it real quick to show you. Mine is destroyed. This should not be loose. It should all be one piece. Um, so here, then once you get in there, then you have your needle bearings. Bearing cage, they call it. Mine was destroyed. That's what caused me to order this kit to begin with, is I, at the end of the season last year, I was using it, I just happened to be finishing up, which was great, because if something's gonna break, that's not usually when it happens. Um, and it sounded like, I don't know, like somebody threw a wheelchair into a fan. I don't know, just rattling and all that. So here's the thing. This is a reverse thread. I'm going to show you, this is the part where a lot of other people are doing other stuff where they're taking off your cover here. If I can wrestle that off, I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, there we go. I've got to flip that down. Um, covers off. They're taking out their spark plug and there's a tool you can put in there and it keeps the cylinder from doing a complete stroke, which then locks this so you can undo it. Other people are sticking uh, nylon rope, paracord, whatever in there. And again, that all works, but there's dangers of, involved with that. And the fact that they make a tool to do it tells me, well, that must be the way to do it. But I found 
in my opinion, a much simpler way to do this, and that is, and you need to, uh, you need to do this to your chainsaw every once in a while anyways, and when I did it, I certainly needed to. I've already pre-cracked these, so you don't have to endure watching that. Try to be quick about this stuff when I show you guys stuff, if I can, within reason. Just letting parts fly all over the place. So then this comes off. It's two pieces, really. Well, there we go. So underneath there is your screen. Mine was gunked up pretty good with like carbon buildup, just exhaust. So you want to clean that off because again, it's all about good airflow. Then this whole deal comes off. You know, clean that up best you can. It's going to be oily, oily. Take this off, going to clean it, put it all back together. Actually, these come out. I don't know if you can see that. These come out. They're kind of squared on the ends, if you can see that. And they, there's a slot going in from the side here and a slot going in from the side here on this one. You'll see. And then you can just lift that off there. Um, so, if you felt the need and you were thinking that you were going to inspect your, your cylinder uh, while you had the plug out, you can also do that here because if I were to, to pull that, you would see the piston moving up and down. Or actually, you don't even have to do that. You can just spin this. You know, I can just spin that around. I don't know how well you can see that. See the piston going up and down when I turn my clutch assembly. So, here's my little trick. I don't know if, if it's a trick, but just kind of messing with it one day to do this. And I thought, you know, why is everybody stuffing a rope in there? I don't understand. I just, if you look right here, you see the the gears on this deal here. This is spinning. See that spin in there? Hopefully you can get my hand out of the way. Sorry. As I spin this, that moves there too. See that moving? I just take a screwdriver. I put that in there to keep it from spinning. Put this on here. Actually, it's the wrong side. I forget that doesn't work. Bear with me while I get the proper size socket. Too small. Mine is a three quarter. Need to drive for that also. It's a three eighths. Sorry. Usually try to have all that stuff out before I get started. So, I've got that. Righty tighty lefty loosey does not apply here. It's actually the opposite. So you're gonna spin this as you would instinctively normally tighten it. And there, that's it, it's cracked. Spinning it off. That's it, that's off. Okay, so underneath that you have another washer off. And then under there is your oiler which you just kind of hand spin in. And I'll try to get this one out. It's kind of gunked up in there. I might want to clean that up a little before I put it back together again. There we go. And there's your oiler. And that's it. So that's everything. This is pretty caked. <laughs> kind of burnt on gummy stuff in there from years and years of, of use. So you see that's one piece, whereas my other one was not. And that just kind of spins around in there and along with everything else. So that's pretty quick and then just reverse the steps to put it back together. I mean that only took me a couple of minutes to do. You know the only things that I would suggest, I'm gonna clean this up real quick before putting this together. I won't put you through that and then I'll turn it back on when I'm ready to put it back together. Alright so clean that out pretty good. Nothing in there is really interfering with anything that uh, should be happening in there. It's, uh, this, like I said this thing's got a lot of miles on it. I need to do a little other work to it, but the purpose of the video is just to show you how to change this out real quick. So the kit came with this in order that they go. All right, first thing going in is your oiler, uh, then washer over that, then clutch assembly. Well, I guess I call the whole thing the clutch assembly, but this clutch, um, your, then uh, your bearing, then this cover, 
with your gear on it, sprocket, washer, C-clip. Oh, it also came with a spark plug, which is a nice touch. Um, if you look at my old one compared to my new one, I don't know well you can see that, but if you look on this one in my this hand here that I'm spinning, you see the wear marks in the gear there. That's from the chain over the years, and the new one is absolutely smooth. There might be a few, little bit of a rub on there now just because I've been using it. Um, you know, and everything worked out great. And I just thought I, I felt like putting a little more grease on the bearing. That was one of the things. And um, thought I'd just make a quick video. So I'm going to put it back together. You got your oiler. That is threaded. There is a, I believe, something in that hole in there that causes it to thread in. But um, you got that, then you got your washer, and it says top, meaning out. That goes in there. Then you're going to put this on again, reverse thread, spinning that counterclockwise to get it to go on. You see it going on there. Then again, I'm going to do m the little way that I did it. And again, if you prefer to st pull your spark plug out and, and mess with that, and by all means, have at it. Um, I just see potential for issues there. You know, if something breaks off in your cylinder, then cranking it down a good bit, that's on. Now, I'm going to do a real quick re-greasing of my bearing just because I feel like I got it open. No, no problem there, why not? Sorry, I was doing that out of the field of view there for a minute. So I just kind of working it all in, rubbing some on the shaft there. Of course, wipe everything off real good. Make sure everything's good and clean before you, you know, putting that bearing on there, working that around a little bit, wiping off the fingers. So that's on, then we're putting this on. Now if you look. Again, there's, this is where that notch comes in that I was talking about on there, that little notch. If you look down in here, you'll see the orientation of where that oiler is sticking up. And I don't know if you can see, but I see mine down there, kind of. So I'm kind of lining this thing up as close best I can visually with that. And then spin up. Now you spin it and you, I felt it kind of drop over that. So they, those need to, those work together. That groove needs to line up. Then you got your washer. Then you got your C-clip. Just about push that on by hand there. I don't know if that should concern me or not, <laughs> that it went on so easy by hand. But that's why I had this players. I had usually give them a, a little finesse move at the end there. Seems to be in the groove. So that's it, that's together. Put your, your bar chain back on, your other parts back on, you know. Um, I want to wipe all this stuff off real before I reassemble everything, so I'm not going to put you through that. But you know, you got this, you got this, and your spark arrestor. And don't forget to clean that screen. If you want to change your plug, go ahead and do that. That's never a bad idea. You like to try to change it at least every season, sometimes more. But that's it. Um, I'll put the link for this kit that I got off at, off of the old Amazon. Um, I th it was very reasonable, if I remember correctly, about 15 bucks, you know, and it was, in my opinion, about as an, an exact replacement as you're going to get without it having the name Steel on it. But other than that, hopefully that's helpful and, and helps a, a few people out. Um, it's really not that complicated, um, so have at it, and uh, thanks for watching. Running like a champ, as good as it's ever run. Sounds much nicer now without uh, all that rattling going on in there. Anyways, again, thanks for watching.